prior to 6.30 when that storm hit my community, it had it came through Menifee County and uh, it touched down in a number of places in Menifee County and uh, did substantial damage there to quite a number of homes and there's probably 30 or 40 uh, families that are homeless there in that community and uh, two people were killed including one of my employees who was killed at her, at her home and uh, that storm then continued into uh, Morgan County and uh, touched down in uh, a little community called Ezell and did some substantial damage there. And then it came to a community that I know some of the members that have been here for a long time will remember. It's a community called Woods Bend. And the former gentleman from Morgan, which is Woody May, uh, he lived in that community. and. Uh, when that storm went into Woods Bend, uh, gentlemen from Elliott, it was uh, almost a mile wide. And um, you don't have to guess at that because you can see from the clear path of destruction on one side to the clear path of destruction on the other. And in that little area, there was most of the deaths that occurred in the in the county, and um, I'm surprised that anyone could live. But I want to take a little leave, Mr. Speaker, and do something that we rarely do in this chamber. I want to thank the press, especially the TV coverage, because had it not been for all those warnings all day for a couple of days, there may have been hundreds of people killed in my community. I was watching the TV when the thing went by my house, as were hundreds of other people. 